What is up guys and welcome to the video. Thanks for all the support first off and thanks for hitting that button to watch. I'm gonna have a new ape shirt. I'm gonna take on my multis real quick. My morning ritual. I had a lot of questions about what I take. Right now I'm pretty simple. I got two fish oil pills, two 1,000 milligram pills of vitamin C, my multivitamin, and then five grams of creatine monohydrate in pill form, which is just like, it's just, it's just a powder in little capsules by Optimum Nutrition. So that's really all I do. I used to take like CLA, a fat burner, um, zinc. I'm keeping it simple now, nice and dry. Only the essentials, stuff that's been proven, stuff that works. Natural, like creatine, around since the 70s, tried and true. A multivitamin, overall health, vitamin C, it's for overall immune health, and then fish oil for just like heart health, joints, all that good stuff. But today, hitting a, we're gonna go back to squatting every day. Took those two days off because the 100 cal, not the 100 calorie, the 100 squat challenge, which kind of killed me. So we're gonna go in there, do a squat variation. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. Um, might do like front front bar uh, no, front squat like paused. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. But I'm gonna do something. Do that variation and then just hit an all shoulder workout and build these guys. Right now they're looking a little weak. Waiting at 197 and a half this morning. I re did a little mini refeed yesterday. It was controlled. Just added about 200 carbs right before bed. If you guys want me to record my refeeds, let me know and I'll do so. But let's get right into the video, guys. Thanks again for the ongoing support, and here we go. Mmm, <sighs> so there it is, guys. I'm gonna feast on this. This bowl is gigantic, by the way. So, usually I track it as more than what the nutritional stuff says. Probably like 1.25 of each serving. It comes out to be like 850 calories. Also, I've moved, I've transitioned apps, so most macro counters know uh, my fitness pal and they use that but they probably like a little less than a year ago they made it more like friendly for people who count macros and not just calories but you have to pay for it so then I found out a I found a new app it's called my macros it's down there where you can set your macros as you guys can see like on the top it gives you I mean, the database isn't as big as my fitness panel, but you can add stuff in by yourself. It's easy to guesstimate stuff, and it's just more convenient. You can track your weight, meals. I've been using it for like three days, and that's what I'm transitioning to. So I'm gonna feast on this paddle right here, and watch Guzman's new video. The new launch happened. I didn't get anything for myself, at least. I got something for my girlfriend, but that's it. Um, he did lower the prices on some stuff. Like his joggers are only 40 bucks, but they're not 15.99. Mmm, time to feast. I'm so excited to you guys change up the voiceover stuff a little bit. I'm just gonna overlay the workout instead of me being in the bottom right. So today was, I was gonna, like I said, in the beginning of the video I said I was gonna hit spots again, but I was pretty short on time. I only had an hour which I usually, I usually spend a lot of time in the gym. So I went, here was supposed to be variation of squat, then shoulders. So instead of just going right into, what's it called? Going squats and then doing shoulders, I went right into shoulders. Save the squats for one more day. Tomorrow, I have a lot more time. I'll go in, take my time, warm up, and then do chest and back tomorrow. But today I started off with uh, just OHP, a movement that I tend to avoid because, or I tend to avoid going heavy because it, my form isn't good enough to the point where I can go heavy and not put strain on my back. So, so the way I, first of all, let me, let me walk you through it. The way I grip it, again, underhand grip, because it allows, if I don't, if I bring my thumb around, then it ends up being, my, my wrist starts hurting a little bit and I can't, I don't have the, that flex, the same flexibility that I have when I bring it over. Um, so I did OHP, rep ranges were 15, 12, 10, 8, 6. 
that's what I did for basically everything except for like rear delt stuff so <clears throat> the first movement or the first time I did it I did 115 for a set of 8 and then my heavy set was a set of 6 with 125 um, it felt really really good I think I did 7 with 125 kind of wanted to bang one more out had uh, Tasman spotting me and right, I'm repping the new Ape shirt which my review on it is that it's I mean they're nice but I don't know if they're worth 30 bucks I'm gonna be totally honest but I mean the I like the design and I like how it's white and the big logo isn't like super crazy like it's it's in a light gray anyway so back to the workout so did that and then I did a set of six felt really really good trick with these is try to go below your chin and then as you bring it up pull your head through that's to get that's to like activate the rear delts towards the end so then after that moved on since I am in LA Fitness, I like to use machines that my school gym doesn't have. So I went and did a hammer strength machine of, uh, again, overhead press. Uh, worked with, here the rep range was, was different. I did a set of 15, which is 25s on each side. A set of 10 with two 25s on each side. And then a set of eight, which I'm showing you right here, with three 25s on each side. Um, the movement is really, really cool. What I what I try to do is bring the seat up as high as I can, so I get a full range of motion on the shoulders, and it feels it feels really, really good. It feels like very natural movement. Again, my grip is the same. I use my wrist wraps because my I'm gonna be honest, I have a pretty weak wrist. Um, and then the last set, I didn't I'm not showing I didn't show it to you guys here, but I did what's it called? I did a, a drop set where I did as many as I could with the 325s, then 225s, then 125, and then that's it. After that, I moved on to seated lateral raises. Again, guys, trick with these. Again, I use overhand grip to work on my grip strength. I lead with my elbows, and I bring them, I'm actually a little bit forward. I'm not totally, um, I guess you would say at 180 degrees. I go a little bit forward to get a nice activation in my delts, especially the upper one. And then when you reach the top, kind of tilt Tilt your wrist forward like you're pouring out water or pouring out a drink or whatever you like to sip on. It really helps get that last, get those little muscle fibers that you usually don't hit. Um, after that I moved on to, what was it? Oh, I actually used, I did shrugs but on a machine. It was a hammer strength machine, never used it before. I didn't know whether to go standing or seated, but the way I found it comfortably, because there was two grips, one that's a little higher up, which I'm guessing is for when you're doing it standing. And when it's lower down, which is where you're, sit where you're seated. So what I did was I brought the seat as far up as I could, and then the seat is tilted, so I sat up all the way at the edge, used the bottom grips, and then shrugged. Trick with shrugs, though, you want to bring your head forward, so your so your um, your traps have a more range of so you have a lot more range of motion, and you can build the traps. You want to come and squeeze every single time. So bring your neck forward, because if you if you have your neck stationary, then your neck kind of blocks you from going as high up as you could. If you bring it forward. There's a lot more range of motion. After that, I actually superseded that with uh, dumbbell front raises. Nothing crazy. Sets of 10 with 20 pound dumbbells. Um, I try to go a little bit above that 90 degree mark and try not to sway, although I was swaying towards the end because I was getting pretty tired. And then my final shoulder exercise, my final normal one was just a, went on the pec deck machine, did rear delt flies. Again, squeeze. Try to go as far back as you can, squeeze to the point where you're trying to pinch again. But here the trick is bring the seat as far down as you can and try to hit like the trap slash rear delt area and try not to hit your back. Cause you tend, if you're if you're too high on the seat, then you do start activating your lats and the whole point of the exercise is for the rear delts. And I like to use the, what I do is I put my hands in fists and I go a little bit above the grips to get even higher up on those rear delts. And then the final thing I did was a finisher that a wrestling coach, I didn't wrestle, but a wrestling coach that always got me to try to wrestle showed me. It is just, you grab a 45 pound dumb, or plate and you, you do it at the end just to burn out. It's really nice. I did two or three sets. So what you do is you grab a 45 pound plate, you do 10 upright rows, then you do 10 front raises. So you grab from the side, do 10 front raises. And then after that you do you bring it over your head and you rotate it five times one way and five times the other way and then you're done that's one set um the burn is ridiculous it feels really really good like i was so tired you'll see me drop it and just exhausted and all in all it was a great one hour workout guys so guys just got back home 
<clears throat> just doing a plate of rice, ground turkey, and some fat-free cheese. And that's gonna do it for the night. Just edited up the video, as you guys can see. Got a good shoulder workout in, like I said. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Thank you for if you made it this far. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Jam that like button for me. Helps grow the channel. And until next time, guys. And by next time, I mean mañana, which means tomorrow in Spanish. Peace. Kill that outro.